Did you notice this detail in Star Wars Episode 5? When additional dialogue is needed for a scene, the common strategy is to add it in while the actor or actress is facing away from the camera or when you can't see their face. It just isn't fair. Oh, Biggs is right. I'm never gonna get out of here. The special effects team from Industrial Light and Magic thought they could do better in this scene. After Luke crashes on the planet Dagobah, he wonders aloud to himself of this Yoda person he was told about even exists. If you look closely, you can see that Luke's lips don't actually move. Did you notice this detail in Gladiator? Maximus's breastplate tells a story all in its own. Eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that after becoming a gladiator, Maximus's breastplate begins to change. It starts off with representations of two griffins around the abdominal region, typically representing strength and bravery. For every victory in the arena, Maximus adds something new in silver first as sprouting tree trunk that then blossoms into a poplar tree. The same trees that line the avenue leading to his desecrate at home and then two rearing horses are gentle and scatter the horses that were taken from him. Next under the horse on the right breast, two figures, one large and one small, representations of the general's murdered wife and child. As Maximus gets close to achieving his revenge, his trophies are displayed on his armor, their icons of the beloved, things he's lost home, horses, family and reputation that he intends to avenge. Did you know this fact about Kung Fu Panda? Tai Lung is a snow leopard. In the wild, snow leopards prey on both giant pandas and red pandas, making him the perfect opponent for Po and Shifu. Did you notice this mistake in Robocop? Just before Robocop removes his helmet, he is wearing a piece that covers his neck and chin. When he actually removes his helmet, the armor is gone. You may have seen Home Alone more than a dozen times, but you've probably never noticed this detail in the movie. The huge plot detail that often goes unnoticed happens during the mess Kevin caused in the kitchen when he attacked Buzz for eating his cheese pizza. Because during the commotion there's a quick shot of the trash can where his dad throws away a pile of wet napkins that also contained Kevin's ticket. Which for eagle-eyed viewers helps explain why his family didn't notice he was missing during the rush to make their flight. Hope we didn't forget anything. Something you might didn't know about Pirates of the Caribbean. One of the three hanging pirates at the very beginning of the film, is a part of the original Pirates of the Caribbean ride was going to be a subterranean wax museum walkthrough. Which sounds a lot less exciting and a tougher attraction to make a movie franchise out of. But when the ride's development was put on hold for the 1964 World's Fair, the same one that debuted, It's a Small World. Which you'll notice is a lot of similarities to the final Pirates ride. Walt Disney came back with a whole boatload yes of ideas which were eventually implemented for the ride's opening in 1967. In fact, this was the last ride that involved Walt Disney himself. 